Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And here I am Tarun Sharma and we are going to talk about these two playlists. So these two playlists which we have already covered. P3 stack and uh, building these modern stack using mean, mern, uh, grand stack or T3 stack. Right. So these two playlists I'm going to use as a foundation because these both these playlists are going to be helpful in building our next uh, end to end applications. So in one of the T3 stacks, we were talking about TRPC, Prisma, Next, CS and all. And in another build modern apps, we were using, we were building the API platform using Express, TypeScript with Mongoose, TypeORM, all these different modern stacks we were using to build the API platform. Now we are going to use the, the learnings from both the playlist as a foundation because this foundation can be used to build any kind of end to end clone application because my next videos will be on top of these also and we are going to build end-to-end -end clone applications either using simple rest apis graphql apis trpc grpc or some microservices so and this t3 stack where we talked about trpc next .js, prisma tailwind typescript all those concepts are going to be useful because if you see uh, these days building the application with the next CS is very simplified with the use of next auth and a prisma you can quickly build the apis just by adding authentication using next auth and by adding the dow layer using prisma prisma you just build a prisma model prisma schema and your end-to-end -end application is ready so we are going to take the advantage I mean it's all about libraries how we are using it but at the end we are getting our final product so we are going to take the advantage of whatever we have learned from these two playlists and we are going to build our end-to-end -end, uh, stack clone applications now those full stack clone applications can be anything because you might have seen I'm already covering lots of clone applications those are in progress and let's try to understand these clones using client and server most of the application in today's world have a client and a sub client if it is a client side application means uh, it's client side rendered application that means it is using some framework like react or swelt js or angular js angular uh, 2.x and greater if we talk about server side that that means it is using some kind of api platform built using express uh, rpgs co or nest js and exposing some kind of a interface right and that interface can be anything that interface can be a simple rest api can be a graphql apis a trpc interface and all because now we are not limited to just build the simple rest apis you can build anything with uh, your api implementation what you need to do is if you are building a rest api using express nest cs co and happy then uh, in the client side you will be just uh, interacting with the server using just a plain rest interface right you already have axios http client module or fetch and all these different libraries to interact with the apis but when it comes to server side because if i change the interface to the graphql then obviously i need to use the graphql client i cannot just use fetch and axios to interact with the graphql interface then i have to i have to adopt my client differently i have to take care of that so i will be using uh, apollo graphql client at the client end side when i use trpc interface obviously i i cannot just make a simple fetch call or axios so what i used to do is there are custom implementation available we have to use this trpc client which provides us some methods to exchange the information with the trpc server so those are the differences which we need to tackle and uh, what we used to do is let's say because if you are building any new application you have to decide the stack you are going to build am i going to use graphql interface for my server or rest interface or just a trpc interface if you are using rest interface that is well known i know how to work with this if you are using graphql okay i need to do a little bit of extra efforts in creating a apollo client and the, in the with the react or with the swell js or with the angular if you are using uh, something else then you have to just adopt your client but if you look into the the bright picture is we have the next js which is server side rendered framework and with the next js you can create lots of different possible combinations currently if you write a next js apis 
you can di directly interact with that using prisma type orm and all because next yes is all server side that means you are executing this data fetching data saving data insertion deletion at the server side so you have prisma you have written an api routes which is going to be consumed by your client component and your server components and you you will just write the apis and those apis will do the read write to your prisma prisma is just a orm like type orm is a orm to read and write to the database similarly prisma is a type script based orm recently popular which is going to do a read write and all these operations on your database that is the one way of doing it otherwise you can use t3 stack because it's all about how you read and write you read and write to the external service let's say you have an external service created already the microservices and you don't want to put the logic of uh, reading and writing to the next js only you already have a separate uh, microservices already written then you will be just talking to that and we have this nice and clean library next auth which is recently popular with that you can just do the authentication so at the server side in the next years boom or when to talk to the database we can decide okay based on the next auth session if the user session exists i can easily exchange the data with the prisma if user session doesn't exist i won't allow you to talk to the database so there can be external service there are multiple ways of uh, looking into this like uh, next is server side you can do anything but let's say if i already have external service built in i wanted to talk to that so you can talk to that using uh, next js api routes can make a call to your external apis or this uh, next auth may be returning you the session token at the client end side and maybe the same session token can be used to exchange the data with the service then client only component can also make a xeos call by passing the authorization token to this order service that's also possible why should we go to the next js route and then call the order service we can directly call the order service if we have a session exist and authorization token and the other way of doing it because next yes is server side you can do a read write to the database directly you can use external service or you can use with the t3 stack you can attach a trpc server so it's tr it's not a trpc server it's all about trpc handlers because next yes is already a node.js server you are just attaching a trpc routers to the next yes it's like next yes is an express application on the express app you are attaching a tiny trpc router that will be able to suffice your api needs so whenever you are hitting a forward slash trpc auth forward slash trpc users so all those methods this trpc handler should be able to expose and then what you need is you need a trpc client to exchange the information so what we are doing here is we are using this next js router api router and and all these api routes are being handled by the trpc router so at the end the client is not aware okay how you are exchanging the data you are just talking to the next js apis okay and that is being that that is handling the data by trpc server trpc tiny implementation right so these are the possible uh, stacks which you can build so what we are going to do in this is we are going to do a simple trpc client trpc server with react and uh, so what we can do is let's get started with this we already have this prisma prisma is like we are going to use in the coming up videos prisma is really powerful with the next js next js can use the prisma client to exchange the information with the prisma models prisma models are going to do a read and write to the database respective database okay so let's get started hi everyone and welcome back so while implementing this whole app we are going to be familiar with all these three different or four different new stack one is a trpc another is we are going to learn more and more about react inx mono repo system and wit wit is actually a plugin management wit is actually a bundler we are going to use with react application so this is our mono repo setup uh, which you have already seen in my previous videos so we are going to just explore these different options like which is next generation front end tooling which is being used by swelt js 
uh, and now also being added to the react i mean that is available for all different uh, front end framework which you can use to build faster because it is coming with the hot module reloading and all the different concepts of bundling right uh, it is like a feature rich and i was using swell js and with wit and the the bundling and uh, HMR hot module reloading is ultra fast. Now that is also with React. The React plugin is available, and we are going to use a Vit instead of a React script. So earlier we are using React script with the Create React app, but now we can use this uh, Vit for bundling and for starting our application locally on Dev server. And this is TRPC. We are going to write TRPC server and a client implementation and we are we we are going to write a trpc server and then trpc client so this is our simple monorepo setup here we can create our packages so this is a simple monorepo using nx and pnpm workspace you can see a pnpm lock yml and pnpm workspace yml these are my existing applications so i can create just two applications or if you are not familiar with this thing what you can do is you can just create two different folders client and server and get started with this don't get much into this if you are not able to understand just create two different folders both will have a package json you will introduce their node modules inside them and we will build the application like that so here we are going to create a trpc server demo and trpc client demo application right so these are like two different folders you can create inside the applications and then we can initialize the dependencies we can just open that in the terminal and then we can just do pnpm in it that will create a simple package json for us okay same we can do here open in the integrated terminal and do pnpm in it that will just create a simple package json and then we can start adding the dependencies so what we need we are creating this setup for trpc server and trpc client right so in one uh, we are going to install all the dependencies and here we are also going to use a mongodb to store the data in the trpc server so trpc server will do the read and write in the in the mongodb so we already have a mongodb container so we do is the docker compose up our mongodb container will be up and running and we should be able to access the container through the application so we are just going to use that through the trpc server so in trpc we are going to use some primary dependencies trpc server uh, we are going to use express dot env and uh, what other modules cross origin resource sharing modules so trpc server express jod for the validation mongoose and uh, dot env these are like primary dependencies which i can think of we are going to use type goose with mongoose type goose is actually going to help us in just creating a schema models for mongodb database type goose type goose so that is like another library which is new i haven't covered that in my videos so type goose will help us to create a simple es6 class for uh, mongodb schema models in, instead of creating a schema and then creating a mongoose dot model it's like just another way of uh, getting the models and ex interacting with the mongodb so here our setup is done trpc server we can also add some dev dependencies so this is our express.env and some typings which we have added typings to the type goose and trpc server okay so uh, now if you look into the source we will start creating some of the files so what all files we need to create is uh, sim simple index.ts server.ts or app.ts whatever the the file namings you wanted to give so we are going to create a folder structure database models routes and this is the trpc server so here we are going to create an express server and then we are going to introduce trpc middleware on top of that okay this is how the trpc server works it's not something new it's just a trpc server is a library which we are going to plug in with the express application express app instance so how we create express app i th i think everybody knows about it now we are just going to create a middleware and register this trpc adapter to that okay that we will see in the code so let's see uh, what all dependencies we have so we can add some dev dependencies which are i think types node types express and uh, types mongoose 
I mean, whatever the typings you wanted to add. So types express I know and uh, types TS node dev that we need as a dev dependency because this module will help us to run TypeScript code on the fly. Like we can run node index.ts with the TS node dev. There is another module TS node and we can also use a node mode and TS node together. So there are many ways in which we can just run the TypeScript code on the fly. Otherwise, you will use a TSC TypeScript compiler, TSC and run the build. And then from the build folder, you will run node index.js. That is just uh, another way of doing it. So we are just installing the dependencies. And once we have everything, we will start adding the, the code for our application. So TS node dev. So we can just add the scripts in the package JSON like npm run dev, which will start this trpc server with express. Here, what we need to do is a ts node dev, and uh, you can just say, let's say your server is in the server.ts or index.ts. We can do it like this source index.ts. Then we can have a build. Build is going to happen with the TypeScript compiler TSC, which needs TS config. So when you are writing TSC, TSC is actually build command, which will look for TS config. So in TS config, you have a compiler instructions. It will look into that and it will create the build for us inside a dist folder. Now we can just create a TS config dot JSON. It's not JS, it's a JSON file. So inside TS config, you will add the default uh, configurations inside it. So these are the compiler options and then we can also create some base config which we can extend in the TS config. That's just a different way of uh, doing it. Okay, we can exclude the node modules, dist, build, coverage, whatever the folders which doesn't contain source code, we can exclude that from the build. Okay, now we can simply go to our package JSON and see and we can also expose these three things through the NX console. I mean, that will just help us to automate some of the tasks like npm run build, npm run dev, all these things. You can just check that inside NX console. So we can just say it's a T3 stack. And inside NX console, you can see this application will be coming there. And here I can do the build. And through this NX console, I can just run the command in any of the workspace projects so it's a workspace inside this we have multiple folders every folder has its own package json and scripts how we can run them through the nx console so this is where where you will see all the projects and you can run all the dev build start test test end to end migration all the scripts you can run from one central location without uh, navigating to a project folders okay so this is our server demo Inside server, what we will do is we can just uh, simple npm run dev. If you are not using an X console and all these commands, you just have a two folders. Then you just do npm run dev, npm run build. All these commands you can execute very independently. Okay, so this is how we can execute and this is how we are creating a TRPC server. So we can just look into how to create a TRPC server. Uh, from the documentation and then we will try to replicate same in this our example so here we can see uh, we'll just go to the trpc.io and here i can see how we are creating a trpc server we are creating a router router contains the public processors multiple public processors user list user by id user create these are methods with the public processors defined over it so and all the public processors are creating a router for us and then that router you can configure to an express application okay this is showing like how we can uh, at runtime we can change things and what is the impact on the client which is also using trpc client so it's all type safe because whatever the types you are changing in the server trpc server the same changes you can apply to the trpc client because you are exposing this type app router type you are exposing from server to the client and app router contains what all methods and what all methods are taking input all these are exposed so uh, this is our app.ts where we are going to create a simple express application import express 
Rome Express. So basically what we will do is we are going to write a simple express application first which will be simple barebone express app which we create day-to-day -day task because it's an express web framework for the node.js we will create a app instance const app equal to express and also express router which is coming from the express router is express router and here we are creating the instance of express router and also creating the app instance const app equal to express just call the methods and then app.lution but before that we also need to register this trpc middleware in our code so once we register trpc middleware it would be easy for us to configure things so this is how we are going to configure inside router we are going to specify to do to do's router to do's router we are going to get from trpc router so once you have a router you can just use app.use and here we for this trpc endpoint we are going to use a trpc adapter so trpc adapter we are going to import from the trpc server library that let's import that first Okay, so here we got the TRPC instance, TRPC adapter, adapters and express. So TRPC express adapter, we can register that uh, onto this middleware. And then create express middleware. And we can just pass the different options, router, router is like app, inst app router and then the context, create context, we will just create this optionally later. So this is how we will register this middleware. Okay, and apart from that, if you have any custom middlewares, just configure them. Otherwise, app.lation to the host and port. Right? All these things we can do. Express router and then here we got the app instance. So app.lation to a particular port. So that we can configure and then export type. So we also need to export some types from this uh export default app and then export default uh, app so this we can import in the index.ts because here we will import app and then we will do the app.lition with a callback function it's like another file where we are importing the created server instance and do the app.lition in our code okay so also we need to connect to the database this is like a uh, mongoose and we are using mongodb here so inside a mongodb we are using mongoose and type goose type goose is to create a mongodb class so app dot uh, you can say listen and then there is a host and port before that we also going to connect to the database so we are using mongoose so mongoose dot connect that's a simple way of connecting passing the db uri mongodb uri mongo uri will configured in the dot env because we are using dot config module dot env module and we will just call the config function of the dot env module okay so this is app started and inside database inside our app.ts this is our router and this to do's router we will configure we need to create a inside routes trpc here we will create a context and expose the processor middleware and the context so we will see how to create a simple trpc instance okay because this trpc procedures will be used everywhere so this is where i can we can talk about it so we are what we are doing we are cre using creating express app express is using this trpc middleware and then we are using trpc adapter for this forward slash trpc route and inside this trpc we are what do we have we have trpc router because it's not a trpc server it's express server using some middleware to attach the trpc routes trpc app router uh, to the express app instance so here we are using this adapter and on top of that trpc will have this router public processors and middleware these three things will be there with the trpc implementation and then these public processors are nothing but methods because trpc is like 
uh, RPC. RPC is remote procedure call. On the remote host, there were some methods like create a user, update user, delete user. So here also this uh, TRPC, RPC is remote processor call. We are creating these methods on the remote instance, right? So we are creating these methods, get, update, delete, and that all these methods combined, all these methods are represented by public processor that will be combined create a router and that router we will pass on a particular path of express route. So express middleware we are already using forward slash TRPC will use this express, uh, sorry, this TRPC server adapter. And then there is we have this router. This router is a combination of all these public processors we have defined. I mean, there is a root router. Router, root router will use some sub routes like profile, account and all. And profile routes will have get, update, delete, fetch, all these methods. Similarly, account router will have get account, update account, delete account, fetch account, all these methods. So public processors are becoming making routes and all these routers combined will create a root router and root router will be passed to this middleware. So this is somewhat uh, how this TRPC structure look like. We will see that in the code also, but it is very simplified. Nothing complex in TRPC. It's all about following some structure and semantics. So in each and every public processors can do two things, either query to the data or write to the data. So we are doing first input output validation, input validation using JORD library. And then we have this query to fetch the data from the database and mutation to do a read write operation on the database. So this is how this query and uh, mutations are divided in the public processor based on what you are doing, reading or writing. And input validations we are doing through this JORD, JORD library. We can also use a JOY and all, but JORD is really configured and powerful to do the payload validations. So this is a minimal architecture, how TRPC looks like uh, from the stands point. Like uh, we are just using adapter, adapter is being configured to the express. And then we are creating all these routes, which are reading and writing the data from the database and then exposing the same data through this through this TRPC server. OK. So now uh, let's work on our database connect. So this is how we are going to connect to the database. Uh, database connect await mongoose.connect. If MongoDB is connected successfully, then it will you can just log OK connected. Otherwise, it will go inside catch block and you need to trace the error why this error is coming is like host not reachable username password is not correct for database and all these possible uh, combinations you can try with this so here await mongoose.connect we got we will get the database instance and pass the mongo uri which is coming from process.env.mongo uri and this is the required parameter so you can make it uh, required by passing a double quotes Okay, so this is a simple mongoose connect and at the error, we can just log the error which is coming while connecting to the database. So I, I explored this, uh, maybe we can talk about this. I mean, mongoose you might have already done lot many times. How to create a models in the type goose. Type goose is all about exposing the types, appropriate types, and it is using these annotations and all that makes it it makes your model uh, little nice, right? Same as the type ORM, and it looks more like object oriented, right? Job, car, user. So here you can define the properties. You can specify the constraint type. Here you can specify the type is a string array. Type is of type job. Job is a custom type. This is how we are defining the reference. So you just need to define the install the type goose and mongoose is already there. So this is how we were doing mongoose, right? So to avoid any confusion, you might all have you might be already doing something like this. Mongoose.model and you just specify a mongoose schema, right? As I said. To do a simple thing, there are always 10 different ways. So the they type goose is just another library of doing the same thing. But in, I think, more cleaner way, because here we are getting the model class by specifying this TypeScript class. And here we are specifying the types. 
and now you can just use this model to do everything await model dot create save update delete this model we are getting from this class that is what type goose does okay uh, so what we will do is this is the mongoose model that will get converted uh, to this and this is how we are going to this is what we are going to use so let's uh, introduce this in our project we have a models so let's say i'm going to create a to do dot ts to do dot ts model and this model is all about same here we can specify class to do and here you can specify the props so i think these props will come okay it's coming from the type goose and here you can specify the type type is string okay this is a capital string and you define your property i have i'm having a title is of type string right so this is how you will define all the, the properties for your mongodb models then you will export you will export the class which i can use directly for accessing the mongodb database get model for class and i will just pass this to do model okay so here i will also add a timestamp timestamp true <coughs> that's it so this is how we created a simple model now we will just use these models in our classes right so let's go to our trpc did we add this in the trpc no it should be inside database dot ts file the database connection there and inside trpc let's uh, create a trpc context okay so how we are going to do it if you see the example how it is doing is it is creating this context creating the context right so yes i was talking about this thing create trpc and okay this is server okay this is client this is server so let's replicate the same in the code here we are going to create a context create context equal to and context will be created by passing all the arguments so we have a request we have a response which is of type okay request response is of type trpc trpc express adapter okay, it's always import issue so let's import this first trpc express adapter dot what happened i'm specifying the types for it trpc adapter these are the arguments so trpc adapter dot create express application yes this is what i was talking about and then we can uh, create the context okay. so const t equal to init trpc dot context i think context is of type and then we do create let me see if i am correct here we have to see context and this context should be of type context and how we will use the context it's all type script we need to deal with so uh, context is coming from trpc only so this is to for async return type that is type of create context okay uh, it's all type script so here we are just passing this context here context doesn't satisfy this thing infer return type type of create context and create context we are getting from okay let's see this if i just make it an equal work but we should be able to specify the type type of create context we will see this okay i will fix it 
and then once we have the t instance we can just export const router i can export the the router from this okay i think create context we need to create empty so this is create context and then it is returning nothing and that init trpc we are getting from there so i'm just looking into documentation and trying to create it we got so similarly we are going to export all the things so this is the middleware that we are going to get from t dot middleware and this is a public processor public processor okay so th these all things we are exporting from trpc and how we are going to get it inside our app.ts that is important point here we can get the router from there import router from there and app router this we are going to build so go to our routes here inside the route we will create our routes trpc routes so here we will create index.ts and that route we will import in the app.ts index.ts and let's say import first of all to model right because on top of that we are going to run the operations so model to do okay and for validation payload validation we are using jord import jord from jord library that is also important I import the public processor and all these things we are going to import from trpc so we will import a uh, router processor there okay and then we will define all the methods here let's say get to do's so how we do it public processor dot this is how the syntax looks like query we are not taking any input so we can specify directly do query otherwise you can just do input input dot query so you can do input do the validations and then do the query right here we are not taking any input for get all to do so we can just simply do it and this is a function so this is a thing function we are not taking any argument and this is what it is going to return to do dot point so here we are connected to the mongodb model and we are returning this processor right similarly you can write all the other processors let's say i'm doing a input validations and creating we will see this how we are doing a input validation so this is how we do take the inputs so this is our object So inside this, you are specifying input. Input is actually a fixed argument which you will specify title and description. And both these types, do we need to specify the types here? Let's keep that. And then here, const new to do. Uh, new to do is actually a model we have. And we can specify title and description. and return we can just simply return await new to do dot save that's it so this should be of uh, any for now otherwise you can define interface and with the input should be of type something right uh, so this is actually interface which uh, which contains the input object and that contains the title and uh, description you have to make it async but this is not directly okay add to do right when we want to add this to the processor how we do it add to do equal to public processor dot mutation so this is what we need to add mutation and then this is all async boundary simple right public processor dot query public processor dot mutation 
similarly if you want to do something else we can do like delete to do so for that public procedure dot input and we can also do some validations uh, on top of that let's say i'm writing a simple method toggle status how we do it so i will take the input input contains a string so here we are doing input right so you can also add the input on all of these places dot input that will define okay what is your payload payload contains the title and description both are required or optional right currently in this toggle we are just specifying only one property so we can just do the validation jet dot string and this is the input object dot find by id and we are just doing a toggling okay and then finally we will export the router from this place which is export const tools router equal to the router which we created in trpc and here we can define all the methods okay get is get to do's delete i mean you can define the mapping if you want so i think we have delete do we have anything get add to do's and then there is a last method is toggle toggle status so i'm just exposing all these methods from this router we will import this to do's router in our app.js so how we are doing it i will import this to do's router okay i think now what happened with this router so now let's go to our app.js app.ts sorry and uh, we got the to do's router and inside router i think there is second argument also expected zero got one we might be importing something else from somewhere okay this router should be coming from trpc not from trpc server okay that is coming from now this is good we got the router and then we also need to create the context so we already have a context created in trpc create context we can import this that's it now this is a kind of a complete implementation we got the router trpc router we are specifying it with the context so this is what this middleware needs app router is nothing but combination of all your segments okay i have a to do router profile router account router this is like like a root router this root router is talking about all these three methods exposed for this add to do get to do and toggle status and then you can start the application and uh, you will be having everything up and running right so we'll start uh, we'll do the build i need to connect to the database for that we will just do docker compose up and inside env because we are using dot env that also we need to make sure that are we importing the dot env somewhere inside this we can do something so this database connect how we define database and then there is a index and then here we need to import this config because we are using dot env so inside dot env what we can do is we can say port 3000 and mongo uri so it will be a mongo db uri uri for the local host right specify mongo uri i will look for my docker compose yml file that is spinning up 27017 i can do docker compose up on the root of the project it also has the postgres but that is fine so here our docker compose uh, yml our container is running and here we did docker compose up and npm run dev so our st server is started on 3000 but to test this we need to have a react client which is using this trpc client and invoking all these methods get port uh, sorry get to do add to do and uh, toggle to do's we can add some more methods 
but uh, we'll see this react app we'll set up the react app and we'll do the integration with local host uh, 3000 where gr where trpc server is running okay so before moving to the react client side where we are going to use a trpc client i will uh, just we'll just explore this wit which is actually uh, okay so why should we use wit there were uh, i mean before wit uh, if we follow the 6 years timeline we have already seen lots of uh, bundlers like webpack rollup parcel and even if i remember there were many before that now uh, most of the the front end toolings are using wit because it is faster and whenever something is faster everybody jumps to it and it is providing the plugin to be used with react.js so how it, it works is when you run the application when you create a bundle it actually compiles all the dependencies and it creates the final bundle so you can either uh, run the applications on the fly it will use this uh, dev server which will keep uh, sending the websocket uh, hooks websocket messages whenever there is a hot module reloading happens because you are changing the code and you also wants to see those changes on the browser or you, it can also just uh, do the build and give you the final bundle so if you want to get started uh, these are the plugins available and if you want to use with the react so this is a simple react setup we will also talk about it so you can actually create a bootstrap a react application with a bit i think there is some interface for it i mean if you want to when you want to start the application with a wit what you will do is npm run dev it will use wit which will start a dev server when you want to do simple build wit build wit preview all those things are there these are the like cli options okay if i want to see what is there for the react so these are the custom plugins which you can add uh, i will just talk about uh, wit react plugin this is a simple setup which you can use with react application so you might already heard or uh, aware about create react app which is using react script react script build react script dev, start all those scripts now it will just replaced with this wit config so this is our wit config and what how it looks like if you see the structure it is a simple wit config and it is using this react plugin which we are passing in the default config so this is like here you can pass the custom plugins and you can use it apart from that the dependencies if you look into this simple react project in our projects there we, we will be using lots of other things like okay we will have a tailwind post css react dependencies and all but if you see dev, uh, dependencies react react dom other than that all are dev dependencies like okay wit plugin that dev dependency and eslint because wit is just creating a bundle so it should be a part of dev dependency only the types all the types are part of dev dependency so it's like a simple setup and you can just do npm run dev it will just start the application npm run build npm run preview so a simple bit right so let's add that for our react application so here we are going to bootstrap a trpc client which is going to be a react app let's first install some dependencies i mean i hope most of you already familiar with how to do the basic setup of react app with the the tailwind post css and typescript because now we don't write any application without typescript right so this is a trpc client demo and we can start adding some dependencies so what are the code dependencies which we can add for our application so here i will try to add them pnpm add so first of all trpc client that's what we are doing right then trpc uh, these are the, the things which you need for having this trpc client setup react query okay then these are the, the main dependencies and there is one more thing which we are going to use with the trpc so trpc client is 10 stack 10 stack react query so all these three modules trpc client trpc react query and this 10 stack react query is actually a module which we need for any for getting started with this project because these are the main dependencies 
apart from that we will have a dev dependencies where we can add a post css uh, tailwind and all okay let's add the dev dependencies so pnpm add so here we are going to use post css bit script okay post css bit type script tailwind so there is a tailwind css is the full module name auto prefixer right and then there are some plugins let's okay we need to add them as a dev dependencies so our command will be little bit changed and then we also need to use uh, add the typings so react react dom and the plugin react okay so i will just do pnpm add minus d because this is a dev dependency types react types dom types react dom and then there is a bit js plugin which we need to use bit js plugin react okay i think uh, the names are correct it will install the dependencies right and then you will see our package json so here is our final uh, package json with all the dependencies added right now we will start writing our code inside trpc client dev we will create a source folder first of all we need to bootstrap some configurations because we are using tailwind typescript post css all those things even bit so first we will create a bit config in the client demo i will just copy it from the it's like simple template right we are using react plugin then ts config from my previous typescript react project i got the ts config okay it's uh, going to use the the base base uh, dependencies so we will, i mean sometimes what happens is you have a ts config build ts config e to e ts config similarly this is like a base config and i'm extending that in this reference uh what's the problem with this node dot json okay this will get resolved soon okay so what we are going to have is now tailwind config and post css config that also i will add <coughs> this is the tailwind config cgs and uh, post css config the only thing is by introducing wit there will be some configuration changes here we are using common js modules right dot cgs dot cgs and then uh, what else we need ts config dot json wit config and uh, tailwind config dot css cgs and post css cgs we have it now we'll start creating the folders line demo what all things we need i mean there there is these are already templates we don't need to put much effort in creating this thing i can create a src and there is another folder we can create is youtube so now uh, what we can do is we'll start writing the code our application is not big one here we are just using some pages and some components okay inside source i can create assets if we are using some images and all so here we can create a uh, pages components it's going to be very simple because it's all about fetching the data showing it and triggering some actions when needed so we'll introduce app.css which will have all the tailwind styles inside source you can see i have all the tailwind styles and then main.tsx <clears throat> so inside source i will create a root file so this is my root file which i have is i am importing react react dom and app so it's like same code which we write every time in the bootstrap application here i'm just going to create app.tsx uh, whatever the things we already know i'm not going to repeat them we just this is what we get while we do create react app type script template inside app.tsx uh, we can simply start configuring the trpc client because it's all about simple demo 
so let's uh, work on that how we are going to do is simple function app component and inside app component will return from gsx okay and then we can do export default app okay so here we will start using the query client and query client provider we can also explore this how we are doing it in the documentation so here is a trpc this is the next yes we can understand quick start documentation so example uses client uses so how we are doing it uh, let me just see so that is backend it's a quick start this is the backend router and then how we do it at the client side that we need to just check that would be easy just like uh, how we create a trpc client so here you can see we created a trpc client and in this we are just using trpc.userList.query right i just want to just uh, get the the right example that would be easy for us uh, example uses okay this should have something next js we are looking for react one create t3 okay we can do this react query integration okay this is what i was talking about so this is how you create a client okay we will use the same thing here we are creating a trpc client trpc dot create client and pass the url where we have our trpc uh, host running if you want to pass some authorization you can do it and then in the root component you will configure the provider trpc dot provider pass the client trpc client query client and you just pass the query client provider right so same thing we will introduce that in our code so here we need to in import 10 stack react query so that is query client query client provider and then trpc we already have uh, inside our utils we can create one trpc.ts what that is about it will create a trpc context from trpc react query okay and we just need to import type app router okay so here is the important thing because at the server side at the client side we need to get the type of the router so that i can get all the methods from it right so that we can get by adding the dependency of this uh, server into the client package right so this is a trpc server demo we need to add the dependency of server inside the client so that i can use this app router types otherwise you will do uh, forward slash forward slash which we don't want like trpc server demo and uh, here we have source then we have index so we are trying to get the app router instance So we are looking for this app router which is there in the server but this is not the right way of importing in the the workspace what we will do is we will expose this and we will import it here that i will fix so this is the app router typings exposed by the server the same typings we are going to use at the client end side to understand what all different methods this server is providing to us okay now we so this is the trpc and here we can just create the context export const trpc equal to create context create trpc context i think there is a method create trpc react there should be a method yeah so it's creating a context for this and here you can specify the type the type for this context is app router simple and then this trpc we can import in our app.tsx 
okay inside app.tsx i can import uh, trpc from okay i need to go to the utils inside that i have trpc so i am importing trpc from there and that trpc we can use here so here we are going to create a query client and trpc client the code is same as it is there in the documentation you state import it from the react so we got the trpc instance so from this trpc we will create a pro we will get the providers and all so what it is returning if you see here we can return trpc dot provider and here we will pass the client so we will create a client and query client so we are passing two things client and query client and inside this we will pass the query client provider and we'll pass the client which is query client i don't know why they have done this too much nesting and then this is the app component i mean your root component whatever that is which we need to create and now here we are going to create the client query client will pass this is the query client we have this app component and this trpc client we need to create and how we do it uh, let's uh, do this what we will do is trpc dot create client. that is a method that will give us the client object here it takes links side links that is an array http link batch http batch link and inside that object you specify url so the url will be something and headers if you wanted to customize the headers headers is just a function it is going to return something let's say you have multiple headers which you are passing so currently i'm just passing simple authorization but we are not using it but for example like if you want to use it then this is how you will do it so this is create client okay and how we are doing it const how to get this client object so i can pass trpc client and i can just use use state this is how we will initialize our trpc client and i will just return it from this I think this will work. So this is what I am returning. Even I can just do simple arrow functions and remove this thing. So what it is doing? It is giving us this trpc client by calling this create client, and we are getting that using use state. And I can just pass this trpc client here. So this is like a bootstrap, right? Now we just we just need to write this app component. An app component will start doing query to this trpc server okay so let's say i have app component which i'm creating i will just import it now app component from something okay let's create that file inside app okay an app component we can create that is nothing but uh, Okay, let's create app component inside this file inside source we can create another file which is app component.ts okay that is nothing but it is going to import the another component from the pages so inside pages let's say i have just a one default component division class index component So this is the index component and here we are writing const function app component uh, const app component
okay add component cost add component equal to just define this uh, function this is the functional component while was complaining earlier and here we can just import our index component as i said this is not a very big application and this is what we are going to create get it from the pages so inside pages you can create a index dot yes. that is our root component and inside that component we can have multiple files okay let's say i have a to do card component because we are creating a to do app right so we to do form to do form dot ts and to do list everybody knows how to build a simple to do app right so to do list to do form to do card form to create a new to do to do card to show the to do app on the card and to do list to show the list which will import to do card and to do form which will be adding the new to do okay so inside the pages we have this index dot ts x file and let's import this for default function index component that is going to return as a simple div so we are using tailwind i mean we can customize this but that's not uh, my main objective I don't know why it's not able to identify. Okay, my bad. I think these could be TSX, which anybody can forget while doing it. So app dot TSX. Okay, these all will be app dot TSX. Otherwise, your JSX code which you are writing will not be identified, and you will be confused. Okay, why it's throwing error? And when you are writing TypeScript, you always have a habit of doing TSX instead of TS. okay now it's clear inside this now what we are doing is we are going to import to do form and to do list component so we just need to create a to do form and a to do list component right so to do form component is same as like you are going to use some kind of a forms where you are going to track the data and to do list component where you already have a data so here we are going to use query and in to do form we are going to use a mutation so i will just import these things import react from react and then we need to import uh, these components import to do form from so we have components and then there is a to do form which we will be creating and then there is a to do list component so this is a to do form and then to do list okay sorted now we need to just work on to do form and to do list components so first of all to do list because in to do list we are fetching the list so we will see how doing it so uh, we need couple of things the trpc and the react which we can import trpc we have defined in the utils and uh, here we can just uh, create a component and to do list uh, here we need to because it's all the react query indirectly and here you are going to get the data from it so here we will do trpc dot so how i'm able to get this to do i didn't define it right but we are defining the types so if you see in the trpc i have created this context trpc react of type app router and app router is coming from trpc server so that's how i am able to use it so here you can see trpc and you need to do this because with that you can be, you can understand okay these are the methods you are getting from trpc server and use query in fact now this is the react query if you have done the react query it has a different state you can get either data is error is loading all these states are exposed by this is loading and error once you have it that means if is loading so we can just uh, check all these states if it is loading then what we need to do is return 
gsx loading right if it is having an error then you will just show the error message otherwise what we will do is we will return a gsx so that means we already got the data so we need to run a map onto the data so how we can do this inside return do class name and we are going to use a grid to show this thumbnail the gap of 5 so it's a grid and inside this we are going to play with the data so if data is there if data is not there then we'll just consider that as an array default array and then here we can just run a map and inside this callback we are getting to do of type any for now and then here we can just create a to do card component let's say which is going to show the information to do dot id let's say because it's a mongodb so underscore id and to do equal to to do object this you can skip because i think most of the you already aware how to do it okay why it is complaining let's see to do dot map and here we are can't find to do card that's correct we don't have to do card component which we create from import to do card card from okay, here we can create to do card to do card component okay i have it to do card component that takes key and uh, these types void is not assignable to the react node iterable okay this is uh, type script so data data is of type void is not assignable what is the data type unknown undefined so that should be undefined unknown that's fine here we are saying the next expected type comes from this property children which is declared here and we are rendering okay got it sometimes i do the silly mistake and then i try to understand what is wrong okay so you just need to either you if you are using brackets then you need to explicitly do the return that that i missed right return and put the simple brackets why it was complaining because in the array dot map you were not returning anything either use the arrow function and don't use the brackets that means by default it is returning this gsx statement okay now let's create a to do card component so to do card component is all about showing the data on to the card component okay so here we can just uh, to card component that is getting props and it is getting props to do of uh, type any and what it is returning it is returning some gsx okay there we will just put all the items okay what is gsx the card information okay card is done completed text and all the information so this is our to do list okay is loading we have written this statement where it is gone okay might be if it is loading then loading okay now to do form component there we are going to deal with the mutation because here we are going to submit the form so to do form component this we are going to we are going to spend much time here so this is to do form component and going to get the to do set to do this is a huge step because we are writing a simple form and we need to somehow get um, somehow store the state right we are having a title and description this is the type and if you want to create a type also then type uh, state is equal to this title is of type string description 
is of type string it's uh, all about type script we are adding initial state is of type state okay and then we can just do initial state this is our initialized state right now how can we uh, get the trpc context here in the same way we are going to import the trpc from utils and then we can just say is const add to do equal to so here we do to do trpc dot to do dot here we have add method dot add mutation use mutation sorry this is the hook we are getting and then const utils equal to trpc dot use context let's use all these things and now what we are going to do we are going to have a simple html form that we can return from this component right that simple html form is just capturing whatever the value inside a title and description <coughs> so how we are doing it we can have a simple handle change method inside this form that will track whatever you are typing const handle change and it's like a one single dom event we are writing that will uh, update our properties in the state so event is of type change event change event of type uh, two type of property html input element input element and html text area because description is inside a text area html text where is this text area Okay, it's a uh, upper case text area element. Okay, because this event object can be of type both. Uh, it is containing this a change event is of type HTML input element or HTML text area. Okay, that is fine. And how we do it? We will just do set to do's, and we are going to specify the targets. So this is a current object. I mean, you can do it something like this. First, you get the event object e dot target, and here you can get the name and value. If you don't want to do it, otherwise, this is your current to do object, and this is your name, and this is your value. So you can bind this handle change to n number of input text fields. Based on the name property, it will populate the field and handle change and then handle submit. This is another method. When you submit the form, what should actually happen? Right? So this event is of type submit form event, right? I always confuse form event and then it is of type HTML form element. So here you get event dot prevent default and then add to do because you already have this add to do mutation dot mutate okay mutate mutate synchronous or asynchronous here you will pass the to do object which contains your title and description and here we can have this callbacks on success what should be this is an error function on success utils dot to do dot get will become invalidate because now we need to fetch the fetch results and set to do's set to the initial state we need to reset the initial state and uh, that's it i guess so this is a simple form submission now let's write a simple form now which is simple form on submit we already have this method and I'll submit and then we have a two input text field which we can write the first input text field second input text field and then there is a submit button so we'll just add that so this is a simple form i don't want to, to spend much time here on change handle change to do dot title this title reference do we need to worry about it no okay to do dot description so here uh, 
you do the title handle change and we are just submitting the form that's it so this is our simple to do form right uh, we can just export default to do form and let's see this in the demo like whatever we have done okay now let's see this in the demo i am starting this application npm run dev that is running on 3008 and how this client is connected to the server uh, you can see this is our simple client and here we have configured the url you can see 3000 trpc this is what you need and make sure that you are running on 3000 port or specify the port which you are running uh, for the server and then i can just uh, jump to local host this port 3008 and it's loading let me see what is the problem because here we are doing client server setup right and i can see there is a cross origin resource sharing problems that will happen when you are running on two different port and you are doing a local setup then how to fix it you can uh, use this middleware for your server cross origin resource sharing uh, middleware app.ts and i can just say app.use and this middleware and make sure that you are registering this middleware before starting the trpc before adding this middleware right so that this middleware can use this cross origin uh, middleware and now if i do this i think this is working now earlier you're getting the error now i think it's working and uh, you can see uh, we don't have this like very small and very nice and clean it's like a simple to do i'm adding things are getting added things are getting listed and now if you see the network calls that is important right if you see the network calls how it is happening to do dot get right it is trying to trigger a to do method get call on that there is a get method to do dot add to do is the public processor and add is the method on top of that right so this is how this whole processor is working even if you see the end to end this is all happening through on the http layer but it's all about trpc which is running on http interface and here we are not triggering the the, the endpoints but triggering the methods using this uh, react query and 10 stack react query these are like a simple client implementation we have done so my objective is not to demo or uh, showcase my tailwind skills and my front end skills here we talked about okay simple how we can do the client integration with the server so we just created a simple trpc client here and passing this trpc client to the provider and this is our root component so it's all about passing the root providers like trpc provider and query client provider and then so that these app components can do the query and mutation so here you can see to do form component is doing uh, using use mutation and doing a mutate add to do dot mutate and then there are some callbacks on success and all and it is invalidating means when you are adding a new to do fetch it and give me the new results similarly when you are doing on the list we are uh, doing a simple query so query is simple query has a different state either data loading error and based on that you can show on the ui similarly on the to do card you can show some actions to do toggle completed not completed some actions to delete the to do i mean further you can just customize this to do application and can make a enterprise level to do app but this is all about the concept which we have discussed okay so that's all about it uh, this is a uh, another video but uh, i will keep posting such videos where we are doing end to end integration of things building a server and a building a client and doing end to end integration and showcasing the result okay thanks everyone thanks for watching and if you like these kind of stuff please hit likes like subscribe